Things are going up at this quality food supplier in South London. Janos Hajanu imports everything from Greece and supplies various eating and drinking places around the capital. He says as an importer, his costs went up by more than 20% when the pound fell after Brexit. And prices have not reflected that yet. Everyone has tried to shelter the consumer, for want of a better description, but how long that's going to be taking place, I'm not quite sure. I think at some point, you know, restaurateurs, uh, you know, wine merchants, everyone will have to start passing a lot more of that increase in cost to the consumer. And that may be happening. The CPI rate of inflation hit 3% last month. That means prices are rising faster than they have for five years. So are people feeling it? Oh, gosh, yes. Yes. Each time you go back into the supermarket, what was a pound is now 120. I've not felt the pinch in a day-to-day -day respect just yet. Um, I think consumer confidence is still pushing on for now, but we're bound to hit, see some form of hit as uh, the whole thing crumbles on. I've seen prices go slightly up, but hey-ho. And we did um, the biggest number and the smallest number. And the sums are difficult for Claudius Ede and his family. As an NHS support worker, his wages are not keeping up. I cannot afford, you know, um, basically necessities. Now, necessity has become a luxury, which I cannot afford. So I need to cut my coat according to my size. I'm looking at a scale of preference. So my things are arranged in order of importance. It's his job to keep inflation under control. But today, the governor of the Bank of England said he's expecting it'll go higher. We expect that um, inflation will peak uh, in around the October figure, October, November figures. Um, and so peaking potentially um, above uh, the 3% level. And if prices do keep going up, that could mean a rise in interest rates within weeks.